some changes in this place. Do you need to use the restroom or anything? I'm, I'm good right now. Okay. Uh, I'll have you put your sunglasses here. Just set your drinks down. In fact, uh, I'll have you sit over here. Sure. Let me see your hand. Yeah. Probably get, get some photos of that. <clears throat> It's starting to, uh, how does it feel right now? A little sore, but not bad. Okay. Any headaches you have at all right now? Bit. No? A little bit. Just a little bit? Okay. Are you not feeling nauseous or anything? Um, a little, but not bad. Okay. Do you, do you want me to call paramedics, check, check, check you out, or? No, I think it's more adrenaline than anything. Gotcha. Do you have any medical issues that might be underlying that? Yeah, I'm slightly overweight. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, they yeah, join the club. <laughs> Other than that, uh, high blood pressure or anything, or a you little take medication that no, you need to have? No, no, Just, okay. it was a little high in my last physical, but not. Oh, okay. Nothing, nothing major, no medication or anything like that. Groovy, okay. Hey, Rob, if you don't mind hanging tight, do you need another yep. water or are you good? I got one? I got an extra. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. I'll be right back, Rob. Yep, bye. sit a lot when I type, sitting in the car, driving around, so yeah. I want to stand a lot of the times, but sometimes it's just too hard to write and stand. Agreed.
I'm all set, brother. Okay. If you're good. Yep, I'm good. Uh, the only thing is uh, the re what he was using to okay. clean his head. Other than that, this is all his uh, property. Okay. I didn't call him ID Tech to have that. Photograph, you did? Uh, no, I did okay. not. Okay. I did not. If you could have a call one for yeah. the interview room downstairs. Thank you. Are we still on hot? I think they were going to clear it, but I had my radio off. All right, Alexander. My name is Nate Moffat. I'm in the Texas Police Department. Um, All right. I want to talk, walk through yes. what happened today. Um, let me just write a couple of things down. So, is are you still living out on yep. Cherie Street? Yep. Okay. So. Are you working right now? I'm off this week. Okay. Well, where do you work at? What do you do for them? I'm a driver truck. Mostly hauling has waste. Okay. What's the cell phone number for you? Okay. What about Soch? Okay, I have very little understanding or knowledge of what happened. Patrol kind of, you know, Rob, or uh, yeah. the, the officer that, that talked to you out there, kind of, it kind of turns into the phone game. So, you know what I mean? When some, when, when they go, yeah, this is what he says, but they're kind of rambling through it real fast. Um, and same with your sister. Your sister's name is Lori or yeah. Lauren? Lori. L-O-R-I. L-O-R-I? Okay. So... The big thing I want to do is just make sure that we have all the details yeah. accurate yeah. and factual. Yeah. Um, so, because kind of some of the information we got from patrol didn't really match up what Lori told us sure. compared to. So, walk me through what happened today. Well, I uh, stayed the night at my sister's. Okay. Uh, we were planning to go do something fun day. We hadn't really decided. I was thinking maybe we go. I was going to take her to the range. Okay. Um, or. Go do something. Okay. And I'll take JD to some water park or movies or whatever. Um, so um, I stayed there last night, and then this morning Charles showed up. And I don't know what started it. And Charles is your brother in law. Her, he and Lori are married. Yes. Okay. So he showed up. Um, he was um, following her and yelling. Um, and then I got between them. And then Tylee came out with her bat. And they had, I had separated for a minute. And then my sister walked around me there in the living room. And then Charles was following Lori and yelling. And Tylee told her to get, told him to get back. She took her bat like that and shoved him. And he took the bat away. And I said, what are you doing? And I got between them. And then he hit me. And... I just went down, and when I got up, he was still yelling, and uh, so I went into the bedroom where I was staying, grabbed my gun, I came back, Okay. and uh, told him to put the gun down, or the bat down, and he came to me, and was saying, you're going to, what are you going to do, like that, and come to me with the bat, I said, put it down, he wouldn't, he came at me, so. Okay, so when, the, when that argument first started between Lori and Charles, yeah. where in the house were they? I don't know. Okay. Where where did you first... I was in my bedroom. Okay, so you were in my bedroom. Staying. And you heard the argument? Uh, when, when they came right towards me. Okay, so they, they were coming down the hallway towards the bedroom? Yes. Okay, so you, you hear the argument, you step out, what's the first thing that you see? Uh, Charles chasing after Lori and Ellen. Okay. Had, had Tylee was... already gotten the, the bat? No. Did he already have the no. bat? Okay. No. So Charles is coming towards Lori. He's coming, coming towards Lori, way. and I shoved him back. Okay. And I said... What are you doing? Because he's coming at her aggressively. Okay. And he's a big dude, so I wasn't gonna. He's not gonna hurt my sister. Okay. So he's coming at her. Yeah. Um. And you you shoved him back. Yeah. What happened right after that? Uh. He, and that's in the. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt. He, you. he got back up and he comes right to me, doesn't look at me, and s continues to yell at Lori. Okay. So he's maybe this far away. Are you in the hallway of the house or? Uh, where right close to the doorway. The, of the of that bedroom. Of the bedroom you were staying. Yes. Okay. So and you're right near the bedroom. Yes. Okay. So then. Um, I don't remember why. He backed up, 
and then my sister came around behind me and they ended up in the living room and then while they're on the way to the living room, Tylee comes out of her bedroom, which is adjacent to the one I was staying in, okay. with her bed, okay. yelling at Charles. Actually, she was behind Charles at first, and then she cut around in front of him in the living room. Okay. So he then went back, they went back towards the living room yes, after, exactly. after you shoved him. Did yes. he fall to the ground when you shoved him? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so he falls to the ground, he gets back yeah. up. You're, you're blocking between him and Lori. Yes, Laurie. yes. And he, he basically is talking past you, still yelling at Lori. Yes, exactly. What's he right. saying? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. So as you're standing there between them, what happened right after that? Is that when Tylee came out with her back? No, he backed up. Okay. He, was, he yelled something, and then he backed up, and then... Lori went by me and around me in the hallway. Mm -hmm. So I he backed up, I cleared the doorway. So then she came around and then Charles was behind her pursuing her again aggressively. Okay. Tylee came out, yelled at him with the bat. Okay. And are you guys in the living room then or still in yeah, the hallway? Okay. It starts in the hallway and then goes to the living room. Okay. So Tylee gets around him in the living room, he stops, kinda goes around to the front of him, tells him to back off. What I find it easiest to do in situations like this is to kind of draw yeah, like yeah. a rough yeah, floor yeah. plan. Sure. So we'll make this the living room. All right, and then this is the hallway. Okay. And then this is the kitchen. So Tyler's bedroom is here. My bedroom is here. And then the living room is here. Okay. Can we just put living room on there, yeah. so I so I know, and then. You said that's kitchen? Yeah. And then... So the doorway's here. Okay. Is this is this area of the house where all of this incident was focused yes. at? Okay. Yep. And then there's another bedroom here. This is JJ's bedroom. Okay. So you first get involved when they're down by your room. They come all the way into the... She comes into the room and he comes right here and I stopped it right here. Okay, so she came into your room. Yeah. Okay. So she comes into your room. Um, he's coming at her yeah. aggressively. And yeah. that's when you pushed him. Yep. Yeah. So you push him down. Yep. Yeah. And then he gets back up. Yep. Yeah. And, and then he yells. And then he backs up. Okay. And then Lori goes around and goes around him. And they're still going at it. Okay. Right? And then Tylee comes out when she hears what's going on. She has her bat. Okay. Is it a metal bat? Yeah, it's plastic a little bat. aluminum bat. Okay. So she comes at him because <laughs> she's tiny, so that's like her thing. You know, she doesn't have anything, but she wants to help defend her mom. Okay. Um, so she comes at him, and then when and they... And they've already moved back right, towards the living room. So they're room going this way. Okay. So Lori's here. Tylee's here. Charles is here. I'm here. Tylee goes at him with the bat. Then... He takes the bat away from her, and I step towards him, and he turned around and cracked me. Is that, that for the injury yes. that's caused on your head? Okay. Well, there was some shoving first, and I got spun around. Okay. And then hot. So I go back here, grab my gun, and come back out. He's still yelling and threatening me. Okay. And then, so I was standing here, and he was there. Okay. So you're standing right there, he's yeah. right here. He's there. And you said, what, what happened What happened when you came out with the gun? I said, put that bat down. He's like, what are you going to do? He's like, you're going to threaten me? I said, no, I'm just going to defend myself. So you put that bat down. And he goes, what are you going to do like that? And he came at me. Okay. And he'd already hit me in the head. Okay. So he came at you at the bat. What, yes. what was he doing with the bat when he, when he came at you? It was in his right hand like this. Okay. So he's holding it low and he's coming at yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you gave him... You, how many times would you say you told him to like put the bat down? Once. Once? Okay. And then he started advancing towards you? Yes. Um, how many shots did you fire? Uh, I don't know. A couple. Okay. Were Tylee and your sister... I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see him, so I don't know okay. where they were. Um, where's JJ at during all of this? He's already out in the car. Okay, so he's sitting out in the car. Yeah, I think. Okay. But you, as far as you, you think or understand, you're not sure where they were. Correct. He's in the corner of the living yeah, room. They were no longer in the room. Okay. When I come back out. Okay. So they're out of the room, so yeah. it's just you and him. Yes. And he basically comes at you with the bat. Yeah. You tell him to put it down. Yes. He's threat like, yeah. um, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And what would you tell him? I didn't say anything. He's coming at me, and I'm, I'm holding the gun. Okay. Uh, if, 
you're going to attack someone with a gun, you got to be ready for the repercussions. Yeah. So, I just want to make sure, because yeah, yeah. he, he basically, you had said earlier that he had the bat, yeah. and he asked, like, what are you going to do about it? Yeah. And you, you, you had already told him to put the bat yeah. down, and then he just came at you, yeah. and you shot him. Yeah. Okay. And you're thinking a couple times? Um, it was more than one shot. Okay. So more than one shot. What kind of gun was it? Uh, 45. Okay. What uh, make? Uh, it's a Springfield XDM. Okay. So it's an XDM 45. Yeah. What type of ammo were you carrying in? Do you know? Just standard. Target like full metal jacket? Yeah. Target shooting? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you fire a couple times. Yep. Yeah. You don't, you don't know where they're at. They're gone. They're gone. What happened right after that? Um, right after that, I uh, I went to the kitchen and rinsed my hands off because I had okay. uh, blood on the back of my head. And then uh, I went back into the room and put the gun down and grabbed my, grabbed my phone. And then went back into the kitchen and called 911. Okay. And then, did you see your sister entirely again? Did they come back in? Not, or not? not until they drove up. Okay. To, then they drove up here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When they drove up outside. Gotcha. Um, what's going on with, with Charles and Lori? I mean, I, does, his, does he live there? No. Okay. So no. where is he living now? He lives in Houston. Okay. Um, for work, or are they separated, or? Separated and for work. Okay. So yeah. both. How long have they, they been split separated? Up, um, January. Okay. So six months or so, six, seven months. Yeah. He's had some pretty erratic behavior since that split up. Okay. And we, he came and uh, threatened uh, me and Tylee at my house um, I don't know, in February or March or whatever. Okay. And there was a little confrontation, though, from, from mostly between Tylee and Charles. Was uh, Were the police involved in that one? No. Okay. No. I, uh, I was just supervising to make sure that he didn't hurt her. Okay. So, um, did he, in G was he working out of state before January? Or? He always has worked out of state. Okay, so he always works out of state. What's, what's he do for a living? He does uh, annuities. Okay. So, what was he in town for today? Does he come into town often or? Occasionally to see JJ. Okay. Um, is he JJ and Tylee's dad? He's JJ's dad. Well, actually, Lorian, he's Charles's nephew. He's his niece's kid. JJ is. Yeah. Okay. And she was a meth addict, and then they adopted JJ. Okay. So they so adopted they, JJ, yeah. but Tylee is not? Not his. Okay. Um, um, so he would be a stepdad, I guess. Okay, so stepdad. Um, when's the last time he's been in town, or when's the last time you've seen him? Uh, last time I saw him was at my house in February or March. Okay. Was he here to... last night? Did you guys have any interactions no. with last night? No. Is there any history of domestic violence between Lori and Charles? Um, not physically that I know of. Okay. So, um, how old is Charles? Uh, 60, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Um, how old's your sister? About 44 or 5. Okay. Um, <laughs> is it sad that I don't know? <laughs> I have to do the math. <laughs> It's hard enough remembering my own age. Right. <laughs> Each birthday, you're like, that didn't happen. After 45, who cares? Um, is there anything else that you could think of that I didn't ask about that I need to know right now? I can't think of anything. Okay. Did, did Lori ever say, like in the last couple of days, that Charles was coming to town? Um, yeah, she said he was coming to pick up JJ. Okay. So you guys were expecting him to show up today? Yeah. Okay. So you knew, uh, okay, it didn't. It wasn't like he just yeah. showed up unexpectedly? No, it, was always, no, it wasn't okay. a surprise or anything like that. But you don't know what they were arguing or no. fighting about? His behavior was a surprise, but uh, him showing up was not a surprise. Okay. Um, let me just walk you through my understanding of it yeah. to make sure that I'm accurate. You were in your room. Yeah. Had you even gotten up and like been out, out of your room this yeah, morning? Yeah, my teeth. Okay. So you're in your room, you hear... I'm just um, on the phone, and then I just hear them coming around the hall quick. Had you seen Charles before, or like no. that morning? No. Okay, so no. you hear them arguing. Yeah. And by First the time, time I see him is at the doorway. At your doorway. Then I shoved him back. So, Lori comes into your room. Yep. You're in your room. Yep. You get up at the doorway and basically get between him and Lori. Yep. 
You pushed Charles back. Yep. He made it, he probably fell down to the ground or did fall to the ground. He stumbled back. Okay. So he stumbles back. He gets comes right back up yep. and he's talking past you, yes. still yelling at Lord. Yes. But you don't know what he was yelling at. I don't him. remember. Okay. So at a, at some point in time, Charles backs up. Lori comes out and they both go around you and towards the living room. Yes. Tylee comes out of her room with a bat. Yep. Um, and basically, they've made their way into the living room. Yes. So Tylee pokes her dad in the bat. In the front. In the, the chest. Front. Okay, so she, stomach, she's yeah. come around this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's so, come around. So this is Tylee and that's Charles. Okay, so she pokes him in the in the bat, yeah. or in the chest with the bat. Yeah. You know how many times about? Or just once and just then he grabs the bat. So he grabs the bat and takes it away. You come towards him. Yeah. Um, and then... What happened right after that? He shoved me and spun me around. Okay. And then cracked me in the back of the head. Cracked you in the back of the head. He yep. hit you one time? Yep. Okay. So you go back to your room. I stumbled for yeah, and then I went back in there. Did you fall to the ground when you when you got hit with the bat? No, I just my head bounced. Okay. So you go back to your room, yep. get the gun, yep. come back to the living room. Yep. Now Tylee and Lauren Lori are gone. Yep. And it's just me and Charles in the living room. Okay. And Charles, what's he doing again? He's got the bat. Okay. And he's uh, and he's looking at me and he's going, and I told him, I said, Charles, put that bat down. And he goes, what are you going to do about it? How are you holding the gun when that happened? <laughs> oh, okay, so you're pointing it out. Yeah. You tell him, Charles, put the gun down, yeah, or put, put the, the bat down. down. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? He's like, what are you going to do about it? Okay. And then comes at me. Okay. And then you fire a couple times. Yeah. Um, but you're not sure how many. You know it was more than one. I'm pretty sure it was two. Two? Okay, two shots. Where were you aiming on his body? Just center. Okay, so you're pretty sure two shots center mass. Yeah. He falls to the ground. You don't see Lori or Tylee anymore. Correct. You go to the kitchen, grab a rag for your head. Yeah, tore some paper towels and wash my hands off. And then go back to your room, put the gun down, yeah. grab your phone, yeah. come back to the kitchen and call in. Yeah. Okay. And um, then they walk me through and try to do... Um, CPR. Okay. Anything else that you can think of that I need to know, um, or that's important to this? That's, that's all there is. Okay. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I need to know. I have. I'm going to get a, a, a tech out here to take mm -hmm. take a, uh, some photographs of you if you're okay with that. That's fine. So if you want to hang tight for me, you need the yeah. restroom or anything. I'm good. Okay. All right. Thanks. Hang tight for me. I'll be right back. I'm going to go have somebody take some photographs of your head. Yeah. I'll put this back in there. All right. Be right back. Thanks.
wait and I want to rev it in stack, so I just want to make sure you didn't need anything. I'm good, thanks. Okay, all right, hang tight. Yeah. Run another bottle of water? No, all right, okay. thank you.
Thank you. Thanks. Can I can I take a real quick look at your hands here? Sure. Okay. Oh, you got a little cut there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you know what? Can we just hold off just a, just a moment because I want to get someone to get a picture of you. Sure. this on your hand. Yeah. Um, I'll try to expect that I'm just yeah. quick enough, and if not, I'll try to go grab a camera. All Are right. you okay holding for a few minutes? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
going to pee in the bottle.
Yes. Hello. Hi. I'm here to take some photographs sure. of you. I've got to do some swabs of your hands, yep. too, and of your injuries. Could you spell your last name for me? C-O-X. And what's your first name? Alexander. And what's your birthday? Well, I would say that's about the easiest uh, last name to spell in a long time. Right. <laughs> Uh, and while she's getting set up there, I'll just ask you some questions. Sure. Uh, so I see you got this um, yeah. on your, is that from today? Yeah. Okay. And you got no. something on the back of your head. Do you have any other injuries? Do you feel any bruising anywhere else? I don't feel anything. Okay. Um, and we we'll take a look at his back. Yeah. Well, Might have you take your shirt off sure. and take a quick look and see if you've got any marks or injuries back there. Sure. So I know you're a hit in your head. Um, are you okay to stand up? Sure. Okay. I'm going to have him stand up just right against this wall right here. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can drain my bladder after this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And so, y'all, face me first. <laughs> What's that? So, face me first. Oh. Face me, I'm going to do a set of overall photographs, sure. and then we'll do your injuries one by okay. one, okay? Okay. 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 Now, were, were you, these are clothes you were wearing at the time, everything? Okay, okay look right at me. Okay, turn to face that way with your whole body. There you go. Face the wall so your back to me. Turn to your right. Okay, face me again. All right, and then if you You know what's sad when you're posing for photographs and you don't have a good side? Thanks. <laughs> put your hands like this. Okay, lower them just a little bit so you're tilted down more. Okay. So you're like this, tilt. Oh, hands okay. tilted. Yeah. Okay. So you can stand up All right. straight. Turns out we can move the camera around. <laughs> okay, and then palms up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to swab your hands right now sure. uh, just so that yeah. I'm not manipulating so much. And then, um, yeah, as soon as she's all done here, I'll get you into the next one. Next one, next one. Thanks, Pedro. I'll meet you in your injuries. I'll check your back out. And I'll let you go use the restroom. I'll get you a new water. Or do you want soda or anything? No, I'm good. Okay. Water would be good after, but yeah, not before. Do you have a face mask? Do you? What's that? Do you have a face mask? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. service shop. Thank you. You're welcome. That's either PPE or she's Chinese. <laughs> Maybe I'm feeling sick. <laughs> no, I'm sick. Knowing her, I'm going to go with sick. Um, <laughs> you never know. We all have a little piece of everything in us, right? No, around here we come in contact with so many different people. And then everyone's got kids. Yes. And then you next thing you know, one person's sick. And it could be the middle of the summer when there's nothing going around. And within a week, everyone's sick. Yeah. This is more just so I don't have my DNA on your Very swabs. Very good. I just don't need to have that mixed in there. I miss the old days when I wasn't in the office. I was out in the field. Then I knew that I only had to deal with the people I was coming in contact with, not all this going yeah. on. Is that your house down there? No, I live in the uh, Santa Valley. Oh, okay. No, it's uh, my sister's name. Oh, okay. I was like, that's a pretty nice neighborhood. I've never been in that neighborhood ever before. It's a maze, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I had to sit forever to get, try to get a code to get inside. I took Google Maps and I'm like, you're still not taking me where I need to go. <laughs> Everything south of Queen Creek is like that down there. When they built all those neighborhoods in the early 2000s, it was more aesthetically pleasing if it was circular and if the roads didn't go straight. Meandered and nobody could get in or out? Yeah. Without a Sherpa? <laughs> yeah. I grew up in the North Valley where everything's straight lines, um, but not down there. Relax it. 
How far out in Santana are you? Uh, Combs and uh, Ironwood. Okay. Yeah. They finally finished Combs and Riggs, it connects. Oh, wow, about time. 15 years too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they shut down Rittenhouse for a month to do that uh, exchange of Combs and Rittenhouse. Uh -huh. You know, where it's a stupid yeah, yeah. one lane, left turn. Thing. Yeah, yeah, if you want to go up to the park shop. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they shut that down for a month to do this redo on this road. Of course, the one area where uh, most of the like tourist traffic from over in there mm -hmm. is, is the worst traffic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we shut that down. Federal Drake, out of Young Robert, 7765. That's Pinal County, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, that would explain it. Okay, I'm going to do um, a small bit of inside of my cheeks. It's just to get your own DNA sure. that way. Yeah, it's just pimples and there's a, I got those ugly red moles. Okay. I just wanted to so make sure that wasn't another, <laughs> another mark. I don't know, I can't see the back of my head, so I'm sure it's not pretty. Oh, actually, your hair gets pretty decent. <laughs> okay. Except that, uh, <laughs> still take it. Except for the lump there. Shoot. 
crazy angles and still see what you're doing. You don't have to have your eye behind the camera. It's really nice. Which is a new mirrorless looks like your light thing. Awesome. My wife has one of those. I love that thing. I just got one about six months ago. You said the Sony? Yeah, the yeah. A seven three. I think she has the A six something. Nice. It's six hundred? Yeah, I think that's or six thousand. I think it's a, it's, it's one of okay. so, I don't she doesn't let me use it. Uh, let me get this shirt. Too. Sure. I just know what it costs. <laughs> yeah. I actually I own this one at home and this is an expensive camera. Well yeah, but you also use it commercially too. Like what that. what's that one? This one is the seven hundred, seven fifty. Oh the D seven fifty. Oh those are really nice. That's so full frame. It's oh, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's thirty two meg, that's good resolution. So I'll have you see yeah. that. Um, if you can want to check under your shirt. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Take my shirt off. Sure. Yeah. Let's see. Normally a little red right here? Yeah. Okay, just normal? Okay. Just wanted to show. I'm yeah. just going to take sure. a photo that there's nothing there. Yeah. No, nope, I don't see any. Okay, and then facing? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you, if you later on yeah. realize or feel you got a sure. foreman, it may not be visible now. Let us know. Yeah, and we'll get a photograph of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, your neck's pretty red, but that's normal, right? What's up? I just want to make sure. So you're you're pretty. Yeah, right that's there. more from driving in the sun's always on my neck. Yeah, okay. you can't just ever get enough sure. shade. No, driving a truck. All right. So that's, that's it. That's all I need. Right? Oh, cool. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay.
Here you go, sir. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Sorry about that. That's so, all right. That, thanks for your patience. No worries. All right. So, it's fun staring at nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just want to kind of go back through a couple things yes. real quick. Yep. Um, your sister had mentioned something kind of historically. I guess it, she said Paige, she just recently moved back. She went to Houston or somewhere yep. and then recently moved back yep. about three weeks ago. She was saying something about... Um, Charles texting your other brother. Is it Andy? Adam. Adam. Do, do you know anything about that? Okay. No. Nope. Um, when... It, so I'll, I'll kind of walk through an order. Sure. When you... Uh, when the when the, the, the yeah. argument or came to you, you said you were on the phone? No. Okay, you were just in the room. Yeah. Okay, I thought you said you were on the phone. No. So you weren't on the phone with anybody. No, my you phone was in that room. Okay, your phone was in the room, so were you. Yeah. And then they, they came your way. Yeah. Um, and then you're not sure where Lori and Tylee were when you came when back. When I came back out, that's correct. Okay. Um, 
Where was your gun at in the room? Uh, it was in my bag in a case at the foot of the bed. So okay. the bed is here, and then the gun was here in the case. Okay. Inside, like a duffel bag or something? Yeah, it was like a zip. Uh, yeah, a little orange bag. Okay. And then uh, my case was in there. Okay. Is it the hard plastic? Yeah, the hard case? plastic with the foam and the extra clips and everything. Okay. Um, is there a reason you spent the night there last night? No, not really. Okay. Just hang out. We were going to hang out today. Okay. Um, did your sister ever tell you she was concerned for her safety or well-being for Charles coming there? No. Okay. But um, watching him interact with her, I was. Okay. So, um, do you normally carry a gun with you? Yeah. Okay. But you didn't have it on your person during this? No. Okay. When we talked about... Tylee basically having the bat, Charles taking the bat yeah. away from Tylee. You said there was a struggle after that. Yeah. What what happened? I, mean, I grabbed her from best? behind. Okay. And then we went to the ground. And then, um, and then we separated and he hit me and then that's when I left. Okay. So you grabbed him from behind yeah. and how come you grabbed him from behind? Because he was in front of me and he was going after Tylee with the bat. What was he doing with the bat? I mean, he he just grabbed it from her and then I jumped in. I don't know what he was okay. doing. So he was going after Tylee with yes, the bat. Yes. And you grabbed him from behind. Yes. Around the neck or over the shoulder like this. Okay. You grabbed him from behind. Yeah. You pulled it back and you guys I both pulled him back and we both went to the ground, yeah. Okay. Um did you see him swing the bat at you? No. Okay. So you pulled him to the ground, you got back up. I got back up. He hit me in the back of the head. I don't know if it was with the bat or not. I assumed it was. Okay. Because he had it. Okay. Um so he hit you in the back of the head. Yeah. And you go to the room. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you don't know where Lori or Tylee are when you go back to the room. Correct. Okay. You come back from the the, the room. Yeah. And you basically get you you initial or marked kind of here on this corner. Yeah. That you're basically at the corner of the living room. Roughly. Well, this is the hallway here, so there's like a wall here that divides the kitchen. Okay. So I'm somewhere in this area. Okay. And he's in the living room. Yes. Um, and he still has the bat. Yes. Is he now focused at you or yes. is he focused at Lori? He's focused or? at me. And okay. He's yelling at me and he moves towards me. What was he What was he saying to you? Do you remember? Not really. Okay. Um, I just remember yelling. Okay. And then I was watching more body language. And when someone aggressively comes at you. Okay. Are you, uh, do you have your CCW? Yeah. Okay. So you're... Um, so he, he's basically coming at you and he's yelling, you're watching his body language. Yeah. And you'd said you told him, and I, I, didn't, I didn't, when I we're talking, yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying to not take notes and listen to what you're saying. I'm trying to calm the situation. Okay. I'm going to drop your bat, and he's, fuck you, and whatever. Okay. Coming at me in. Um, did you, did you ever tell him to leave, or did you just say drop the bat, or? First I just said drop the bat. Okay. And then did you say anything else after that? I didn't have time. Okay. So he came after you with the bat. Yep. He's kind of holding it in yep. his hand. Yeah, got his right hand. Okay. Um, you fire a couple times. Yep. And then you go to the kitchen. Correct. And then back to the bedroom. Yes. Okay. When you went back to the bedroom, you washed your hands. No, I washed my hands. Or I'm sorry, washed your hands in the kitchen. Yep. You put your gun back in your room. Yep. Where'd you set it at? Uh, it's on the floor. Okay, so you set it on the floor, um, get your phone, yep. call 911. Yep. And then when did you realize Lori had gone? Did you call her? No. Okay. So you called 911. Did you do CPR on him? I did. Okay. I tried. Okay. Um, but you weren't on the, I, I must have missed you. I thought you said you were on the phone when. when uh, oh, yeah, no. You, did you hear them arguing about his phone? I don't. All I heard was her say, don't touch me, and then him okay. coming right after her. Okay. Um, you said that you a couple months ago, Tylee was at your house, mm -hmm. and he came over. What, yep. what happened? Tell me a little bit more about that. He was going insane trying to locate Lori, because Lori wasn't talking to him. Okay. They, they had split up. So he was... Bugging everybody in the family, blowing up their emails, phones, just sending text messages, just 
anything he could do to try and get somebody to tell Lori to contact him. So he was just spazzing out. So Tylee and I were pulling up to my house, and he comes. He followed us, and then he sped up and blocked my driveway. And he got out and ran up to me real aggressively like he was going to do something. And he just stopped and talked. And then Tylee got out and yelled at him. And uh, and then that lasted, I don't know, 15 minutes in the front. Okay. A lot of screaming between, a lot of screaming at Tylee at Charles and Charles uh, trying to leave and her not letting him because she wanted to get everything out that was bothering her. Okay. So he didn't go after Tylee at that time. Physically, he did not do okay. anything. Um, have you have you spent a lot of time around Charles? Yeah. Is he is he hot headed? Not normally. Okay. So have you ever, besides the argument between him and Tylee, have you ever no. seen him like you saw him today? No. Okay. No. Uh, how would you describe him today? Uh, very aggressive. Okay. Um, Physically aggressive. Uh, going after Tylee, going after Lori, going after me. Okay. I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen him behave like that. I was shocked. Okay. How long have they been together? 15 years, maybe? Okay. Oh, well, a good while. And be, did, did they live here before? Yeah, they lived here a couple times. Okay. They lived here, uh, they, li they met, they lived in Austin, then they moved, then they moved to Chandler, then they moved to Hawaii, then they moved back here, and then I think they split up, and then she went to live with Houston for two months, and that wasn't working out, so then she came back here and got a place. Okay. And then he had just come back out here. And he got a, he got a place, or she came back out here and got a place. How long ago was that? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Within two months. Okay. So the last couple of months. Um, but she never said anything about having you come over because she didn't feel safe with him or because he was showing up or anything no. like that? Okay. Um, Is it normal for you? She, she had expressed that he had threatened her in some email and text messages. Okay. Saying he was going to stop her or destroy her or something to that effect. And when, when did she tell you that? Well, I don't know. A couple weeks ago when she got the text. Okay. So that was a couple weeks ago, yeah, wasn't it? We had talked about it, but it wasn't anything. Gotcha. So she, you weren't under the impression that she had you there to, to make no. sure that he was, you know, no. didn't he cause an it. issue or anything like that? Mm -hmm. And you had the gun used, so you didn't bring a gun for that purpose. I always carry it. Okay. Um, when I, and I had had uh, my other gun in the truck, and then my niece just gave me a gun, and I thought we'd maybe go to the shooting range, because my sister, uh, my niece gave me a, a 380. Okay. Uh, she didn't want it anymore. Gotcha. Uh, so I was going to take it for my sister, because she's got tiny hands, I was going to let her shoot it. Okay. Um, just recreational for yeah. sport, not because always, you felt she needed it for No, 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 targets. Self protection or anything. No. Um, no, I never considered Charles to be violent or a threat before today. Okay. And you, when you grabbed him, yeah. when he was going after yeah. Tylee yeah. And, and your sister, yeah. you grabbed him around the shoulder, you yank him to yeah. the ground, but you never saw him swing the bat at you at that time. Correct. Okay. You when, we, when you got up. Yeah. What happened right after you got up? Well, we went to the ground, and separated, and then I was getting up like this, and just my head bounced. Okay, so as you were getting yeah. up is when you felt the strike to the head. Yeah. And then you got up, what did you do? Did you go? I just went straight to the room. Okay. Because I said, hey, this needs to calm down. Okay. And that's what I was hoping would happen. So when you got back with the gun, you were assuming that he was going to... I thought he would I thought he would back down at that point. Okay. And he didn't? He did not. Okay. Um... Anything else you could think of that, that I need to know that we haven't talked about? I can't think of anything. Okay. You don't need any medical attention for your well, head? I'd like to get that cut cleaned up. Okay. I think we're almost done, yeah. so we'll, if, uh, sure. if we're almost done, I'll, I'll, we'll probably get you and Lori and Tylee back to the house. You won't be able to go in. Yeah. Um, because we're, we're, you know, working under sure. as a scene. Yeah, absolutely. How did the injury on your arm happen? Uh, I'm guessing somewhere in the tussle. Okay. Were there, were there any strikes thrown besides you getting hit in the back of the head? Um, no, just me shoving him. Okay. And that was initial in the, in the bedroom? That was, with the, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's when I got involved. Okay. 
And then the only other time we got physical with anybody is when he was going after Lori and Tylee, and you grabbed him around the neck. Correct. Dragged him back, and you yes. both fell to the ground. That's correct. Okay. Um, no, we're, we're just running a criminal history to make sure yeah, that yeah. you're not a, not a prohibited possessor, so there's no con felony convictions. Correct. No there, was a, there was a confessed uh, felony, aggravated assault. Okay. In Austin, Texas in 2007, I think. Have your rights been restored? Are you oh, legally yeah. able to... Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so your yeah, rights yeah. are re re restored, all, you're all done. able to possess a firearm? I was never convicted. Oh, okay. Pled guilty, but they have deferred adjudication in Texas, so I completed probation and then... Gotcha. That was that. Okay, so it was an open-ended thing, so yes. it's a misdemeanor now. Well, whatever, it's just on there as a whatever. I don't know what the technical record is. Okay. I know I went to court, and she said all your rights are restored, and gave me the paper, and off I went. Gotcha. Um, After four years. All right. Hang tight. I'm going to go see if they're done with Lori. We'll get you guys all together so you, we can get you out of here. Good deal. Just make sure that the people that are monitored don't think have any other questions that I uh, that I need to ask. Okay? Sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks. I appreciate your patience, man. No problem.
go by Alex or Alex? Yeah, Alex. Alex? All right, we're just going to walk over and we'll, we'll go over where your sister is. Sure. Here's that. Thanks. Oh, is that what you were wearing when you went all the way down? Okay, yeah. just make sure. 